Do you feel mellow? Do you want to sit on yellow? Hello? Jello. Hatred. If you're irritated right now, it's probably because you have a deep-seated hatred for nonsensical rhymes. And that's fair enough. You have dandruff. I'm going to be completely honest. As a human being, I am violent. I exist outside the realm of this 3x3 square thing and subside somewhere around here. This means I am an angry person. So why don't we take a leaf out of the conservatives book and make best use of that. Here are the top five things trans girls hate. Starting in at number five, we have... Chasers! What is a chaser exactly? A chaser is typically a rotten pile of skin and greasy hair that smells like sh- <clears throat> A chaser is typically a cisgender male who has developed a fetish for cute women with humongous cocks. Trans women. These people have a tendency to follow, harass, and chase trans women, hence the name. Urban Dictionary says the term chaser is used within trans circles to signal that someone's dating habits are ethically questionable. But not all men attracted to trans women are chasers. You may say, and you'd be correct. To be defined as a chaser, I believe you must check off three points. So without further ado, here is Alice's guide to identifying a chaser. Step one, are they over other women and genders attracted specifically to trans women? If no, not a chaser. If yes, then proceed to step two. Yeah. Step two. Do they have no long-term romantic interest in you? If no, they're probably not a chaser. If yes, it's still not fully conclusive yet as mutual friends with benefits are a thing, but at this stage it is quite likely that they are a chaser. Move to step three. Step three. Will he spend time with you in public, particularly during the day? This is a simple litmus test to close off the guide. If yes, he's most likely not a chaser and just finds you attractive. If no, He's a chaser, and unfortunately, he wants you to be his dirty little secret. Gross. So to summarize, a chaser is someone who fetishizes trans women and seeks to take advantage of them, and is only interested in them for sexual gratification. You don't see trans women as worthy equal partners in an actual relationship. This is why they earn the number five spot on this list, because most trans women do not want to be fetishized. Oh, I almost forgot one last way to spot a chaser. They're just really fucking creepy. And now for number four. Body hair. All trans girls hate this bloody stuff. Shave, shave, shave again, and it keeps coming back. Body hair is an object of particular hatred for those early in transition. Typically, hormone therapy reduces body hair growth over time, and as a trans woman goes through transition, she may proceed with several hair removal techniques, such as laser hair removal, electrolysis, these things, and oh my god, please, my back hair is killing me, and as such, I have decided to remove all of the skin on my body. Pause. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I wasn't meant to say that. It's in the f***ing script! Now, why do we hate body hair and want to shave it all off? Well, in short, society. Gender norms. It is generally seen to be very feminine to have smooth, hairless skin, and I mean... Yeah, I gotta be honest, it is kinda nice. Can't argue with that. I like having beautiful shaved legs for my countless victims to scratch and scrape at in futility. Anyway, body hair is seen by many to be a particularly annoying and repetitive obstacle in the way of the ultimate transition goal, femininity. It is for this reason that body hair occupies the number four spot on our list. F body, I'm gonna fight body hair. I'm gonna punch body hair in the face. POV, you are body hair. Number three. Going outside. Exhibit A. Witness this. This is the room of a trans woman, as you can see. Comfy bed. Low high. Food. Hydration. Comfy darkness. Everything you need. Wrong. Human beings need sunlight. Unfortunately, trans women seem to have started to contract an unfortunate disease and it is spreading like wildfire. Vampirism. My sources in the World Health Organization have been following the spread of this pandemic and traced it back to one major initial source. Discord. Get off your computer and go outside! Touch grass! Tutorial how to touch grass. Oh!
cat. Now, why do we hate going outside? Unfortunately, as much as I am a firm believer in the religion of occasionally going outside, I do understand the debacle. A lot of trans women are fairly early in their transition and perhaps they just aren't as confident as they would like. Perhaps they're stuck in the closet and having to boy mode. As a result, going outside puts them at risk of being spotted and having to face their own insecurities, specifically gender dysphoria. I sympathize and there's not really anything I can do to help unfortunately except to promise you that it does get better. Some trans women are just introverts though. Go outside, please. You need vitamin D, and that doesn't mean vitamin dick or vitamin D's nuts. For those of you that do go outside, I'm proud of you. Good girl. Pat, pat. Anyway, it is for these reasons that going outside occupies the number three spot in our list of top things five trans girls hate. And now it's time for number two. Number two. Daryl. Do not ever trust him. Every trans girl knows that Daryl is dangerous and you'll know him when you see him. Sometimes he changes his face, but always his heart is as black as night. A deep, unending chasm of eternal darkness. Never ever trust Daryl. Always be on the lookout for Daryl. Look at him. This is Daryl. If he ever says hi, run. It may already be too late for you. And now people watching Alice will tell you a few more of the things he's done. Please be nice to her, she's a little bit shy. Examples of things Daryl has done. He rode a quad bike in the background of a video that I made two years ago. He went to the zoo with his family a year and a half ago. He's very good at playing the reverse sweep in Cricket, and I think that's weird. It's just not good cricket. He once ate my sandwich from the communal fridge. Why? As you can see from these examples, Daryl is a highly dangerous human being and cannot be trusted. Actually, that's a bit too generous. Daryl is not a human being. Do not treat him like one. He will take advantage of you and leave you destitute like a dog on the streets. It is for these reasons that Daryl occupies the number two spot on this list. Fuck Daryl. All my homies hate Daryl. And now we're winding up to the top of our list of top five trans hate things girls. Here are a couple honorable mentions. I'm dizzy. Paper straws. I've borrowed this one from my favorite femboy. They just don't work. Cat. Chloe. Look at her. She just looks so fucking stupid. And she's so short. She really sucks a lot. A lot of dick. Do you know that on my charity live stream, she dropped like 20 bucks to become a member just so that she could spray me with water? I oh, right my ear hole. Also, she also ate my sandwich from the communal fridge. Again? France. And now for the number one spot on our list of top five trans girls things hate. Number one, taxes. I've spent a lot of time on forums and a lot of time on r slash trans and if there is one thing I have seen trans girls rail against more than anything else, it's taxes. Fuck you, government. What do you mean I gotta work 40 hours a week for this fucking pittance of a paycheck and then you swoop in and say, Well, actually, 33% of that is mine. Fuck you. I was gonna buy a vibrator with that. How else am I gonna pleasure myself now? With a man? Are you crazy? Oh my god, fucking taxes. You mother fucking slimy frog fucking politicians. You could come out here to rural New Zealand where we're all still sharpening fucking sticks to go and stab pigs with. And you can take my taxes from my cold, dead hands. I will not be oppressed. And what do you know? The tax man cometh. No one else does. Selfish lover that guy. And who is it? Just who is the tax man? Let's wind up the curtain and reveal it. None other than fucking Daryl. Daryl is the tax man. 
I bet you didn't see that twist coming. I've talked about this before. I even f***ed over the tax man in this video, which you should totally go watch, it's hilarious. We all hate taxes, we all hate paying taxes. I think most of us are quite reasonable. Most of us... Cut out the furry part of the community. The problem with paying taxes nowadays, and I won't go too deep into this because my channel is actually a politics free zone, is that the government just really isn't doing sh** to maintain our standard of living. There you go, politics over. If I paid 50% in taxes, but all of my roads were perfectly sealed, there weren't any people on the streets, there were no hungry kids in schools, subsidized university education, no cost healthcare, I wouldn't give a f I'd pay the taxes. I'll pay 50% taxes for that. I think all of us trans girls would. But it's fucked. Now my fucking road has more holes than a gay orgy. Daryl is on the streets. My nephew brought a box of jelly beans into school for lunch the other day. I'm uneducated and still the tax man cometh and take away the money I was gonna use to buy myself a Zalo Bis 2 turquoise green luxury vibrator. And that's why taxes occupy the number one spot on our list of top five girls trans things hate. On an unrelated note, just reminding you all that I actually have a P.O. box. You can send me things. Come on, it'll be fun. The address is on screen right now. I might even make a video about it. Don't send me a bomb, otherwise that video will be on LiveLink. Anyway, that's the end of the list and subsequently the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe like the good little submissive you are. And become a member, please. Running this channel is becoming very expensive and I have some big plans. Lastly, thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. I guess I gotta figure out something to do about it now. How am I gonna celebrate it? Ha ha ha! Lord!